Hello friends, in today's video we're going to be changing the rear brake pads and the discs on uh, Honda Jazz. This is 2013 model uh, Honda Jazz. Alright, so in order to remove the caliper bolts, um, the guide pins, uh, we'll be using the Salmil ratchet. That's one of the bolts out of it. It's going to do the bottom one now. There we go. Right, so the next bit we're going to do is uh, we're going to remove the the caliper clamp the, for the caliper clamp uh, is a 14 mil uh, socket we need to use there we go Here we go, that's the clamp bolt out of the way, and that was a 14 mil bolt. I'm just gonna do the bottom one now. I've uh, loosened the clamp the caliper clamp as well as the caliper itself uh, so in order to release it completely we'll have to remove uh, the handbrake cable uh, clip which is uh, just here just gonna point out with my finger so this clip here we need to undo okay so when we once we undo this clip uh, it's gonna be uh, become easier to pull out the bolt the clamp bolt the bottom one and also it's gonna let us uh, release the brake caliper of the hub so just gonna do that with the flathead screwdriver friends I've taken the clip off from here just from here and uh, there it is on the floor Right, so the next bit we need to do is uh, to release this cable from it. And uh, here we go. Before I release the cable, I've got the uh, clamp uh, bolt out of the way. I've just released the handbrake cable so now we can freely move the caliper itself there we go friends that's the brake pads and the uh, the caliper itself freed so now what we need to do is there we go we're just gonna put the cable out the handbrake cable there we go that's the caliper itself uh, disengaged from the from the clamp caliper clamp so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a chisel uh, 
uh, I've got the brake winding tools as well but uh, this uh, okay you know I'm just gonna use a wide chisel so just gonna place it here and going to rewind the piston all the way back this like this all the way back there we go friends that is nice and flat nice and easy so the next bit we're gonna do is uh, just gonna place the piston uh, caliper here right so the next bit we're gonna do is to remove the disc itself so there are two Phillips uh, screws here which we need to undo so you have to be extra careful and use the right tool to remove it there we go that's one of the screw out of the way just gonna do the other one there we go nice and easy right so now we're gonna pull the disc out it's not gonna come out that easy so we'll have to tap it with the, with the hammer there we go that's the old disc out of the way that's our new disc and the new pads here which we're gonna fit so just gonna do that now right there we go that's the new disc in place we're gonna skew the disc itself so for that just gonna line up the screws two of them one on each side that's it enough shouldn't be too tight there's the front nice and tight okay all right so the next bit we're gonna do is uh, to scale the clamp caliper clamp it's gonna get scaled by two bolts it's gonna scale the caliper clamp bolts okay, so that's good enough so the next bit we're gonna do is we're gonna apply grease on uh, these uh, caliper guide pins there we go friends that's good enough just gonna force it in just gonna remove the excess grease out of the Tight. There we go. Nice and bottom pin. Just gonna apply some grease on it. Uh, this uh, grease we are applying is uh, high temperature grease. So that's why we are using this particular brand. Right, here comes the new brake pads. Right, so before I slide the new brake pads in, I'm gonna apply grease on the guide arms, both sides here and there. Just a little bit, not too much, just gonna dab it a bit. That's good enough. And then same here. Slide it in here like that. Right, then I do the same on the outer pad, a little bit grease on the guide arms. There we go, and then same on this side. There we go. 
So this part is gonna sit here like this. Here comes the caliper. Just like that. Okay. So we're just gonna scale it with the uh, two 12 mil bolts. We're just gonna do the bottom one now. Just like that. Just here. We're using a 12 mil uh, ratchet. Good enough. Just gonna do the same on the bottom. There we go, friends. That's nice and tight. Right, friends. So just gonna route this uh, handbrake cable through this hole here, just like that. All the way. In. Nice and easy. Yeah, that's fully home. Right, so the next bit we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this cable out and just gonna slide it in like this all the way in. That's fully secured. Right, so this clip needs to slide in here all the way in. So we'll have to tap it with the hammer to slide it in. Here we go friends, that's the handbrake clip uh, in place. So you just line it up and uh, tap it with the hammer, small hammer, and it just uh, slides in. There we go friends. Uh, the new disc and uh, the new pads been fitted uh, on this uh, Honda Jazz 2013 model in no time. So what I'm gonna do is uh, uh, just gonna apply a little bit of copper grease here, there, there and here so that uh, the wheel doesn't stick to the disc itself uh, they sometimes get jammed when you take off the nuts okay 